Hey everyone, it's Sydney and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a very interesting, very unique recipe called Bachelor Spaghetti. This recipe has been very popular within my family ever since before I was born. My dad got this recipe many years ago from a dear friend of his who was a Cajun chef and he's been making this recipe regularly ever since then. When you first hear what's in this recipe, it's going to sound very odd and you might not even want to make it because you think you won't like it, but honestly, don't knock until you try it because it's really good. The best part about this recipe is that it only costs a little over $8 to make for the serving we're going to be making today. Now my family usually does double the amount of what we're making today, um, which even then would only cost you about $16 and would last you for a long time. Um, even when my family makes that big serving of it, we still have plenty left over to last us for at least a couple more days. It warms up so well, it doesn't lose any flavor from sitting in the fridge. It's just overall a fantastic recipe and I cannot wait for you guys to try it. But enough talking about it, let's get started. Here are the ingredients that you're going to need. A one pound bag of wide egg noodles, a jar of your choosing of spaghetti sauce, an eight pack of hot dogs, and a four ounce jar of Zatarain's shrimp and crab boil. Here's the equipment that you're going to need. One large pot for the spaghetti noodles, and another large or medium-sized pot for the hot dogs. The first step is to fill your large pot with water. Then you're going to take that large pot of water and put it on your stove and set it to high heat. Put salt in your water. Then we're going to be doing the same thing with your large or medium-sized pot. Put this on the stove and set that to high heat as well. We are not going to be putting salt in this pot. You're also going to need a tablespoon measuring spoon for your crab boil. Then you're going to want to cut up your hot dogs the way I'm doing here and they need to be about this size. Then you're going to put your hot dogs into your large or medium sized pot. Then you're going to just sit and let those two pots start to simmer. Once the water in your large pot starts to simmer, measure out one tablespoon of the crab oil and pour it into the water. And then once it starts to boil, pour half your bag of your noodles into the water. Mix that in to make sure all of the noodles are fully covered by the water and then let it boil. Once the hot dogs start to simmer, pour another tablespoon of crab oil into that water as well, and then stir that. Make sure you don't let the water in your large pot boil over. As you can see here, I almost had a spill. Then after you've added your crab oil to both pots and both of them are boiling, just let them sit for about 10 to 12 minutes. Make sure you're stirring the contents in both pots occasionally. You're also going to need a colander to strain both your noodles and your hot dogs. A good way to see if your noodles are done is to take out a single piece, let it cool, and then chew it up to see if it's the right consistency. Once your noodles are done cooking, turn the heat off on both of your pots. Now take your noodles over to the sink with your colander in place and pour everything into the colander so that the water can be drained out. Now give the colander a quick shake so that you make sure all the extra moisture has come out of the bottom and pour your noodles that have been strained back into the pot. You're going to do the same thing with the hot dogs. Then you're going to take your hot dogs and pour them into the pot with the noodles that I have placed back onto the stove. Then you're going to take whatever spaghetti sauce you have chosen, I chose Prego Roasted Garlic Parmesan, and you're going to pour about three quarters of this jar on top of your noodles and your hot dogs. Then just go ahead and stir all of that together. After I've stirred it all together, I add the remaining quarter of spaghetti sauce still left in the jar and then stir that in as well. Mm -hmm. 
Then when you're done stirring, it should look like this. Now you're ready to serve it. You can eat it plain or you can add some Parmesan. I suggest adding Parmesan or shredded cheese, whatever you like. And then you're ready to eat it. Enjoy your bachelor spaghetti. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and go ahead and click that subscribe button to keep yourself updated on all of my recipes.